All right, and hello everybody. I am here with XCOM 2. Um, pretty long-awaited game. Uh, been watching a little bit of uh, gameplay footage from places like uh, Total Biscuit and a few others. People who got like early access to the game to review it and report on it. Um, and he seemed to enjoy it quite a bit, almost as much as the, the first game. I couldn't really tell um, by his reaction, but it seemed like he enjoyed it quite a bit, so I'm excited for this game. Um, set in a dystopian future, taken over by aliens, and apparently you switch sides. Um, in the first game, it was the aliens invading and pretty much the humans trying to fight them off. Now you are pretty much the rebel, the rebels, like, you you have to uh, fight against the aliens and try and take back your planet, as opposed to um, being the person trying to keep the aliens from taking your planet. So pretty much it's like the exact opposite of the first game, so I'm, I'm pretty excited. I, I love, love the combat in these games, um, I think it's going to do really well, but... Uh, let's get started. Um, let's do beginner. Oh, never mind. That's not it. Um, let's do veteran. I think I can handle it. Continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th what the anniversary fuck? of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Y'all are fucking brainwashed. To humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Why would you go there? The attempted attack by fringe elements. Operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. Why would it be thankfully? Unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration. The speaker reaches Oh my god. That dude's an alien. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes. No, that dude's a thin man. I don't give a shit what you say. Or he's Kylo Ren, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it looks like fucking Kylo Ren. Humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping force. There's no way that dude is not thin man. Several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Oh go fuck yourself. Perfect. Fucking weirdos. Oh shit. Approaching position. You were right. They've definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. Sixty seconds. Why does that guy look familiar? <laughs> Sounds familiar, that's for damn sure. Is I'll shut up. Oh, fuck. Maybe not. <clears throat> no. Damn. Fuck yeah. Sorry if I'm yawning a bit. Advent forces are swarming to the blast point. We need to move on the path. I got up last I I went to sleep as soon as I got home last night and I pretty much woke up at like 
two o'clock in the morning, so yeah, I'm recording this at two o'clock in the morning. First. You need to get out of sight. Grab some cover near that low wall. Copy that. Okay, got it. Okay, position, I got it. But I'm exposed here. It's better than nothing. But I know I play the first game. Position further out. I know you're exposed. Looks like full cover ahead. Moving out. God damn. I know how this works. I did XCOM. Stay close. Keep pace with Crasher One. Double time. I played a shitload of XCOM. I know what I'm doing. They're holding position. We're gonna have to go through them. Stay out of <clears throat> sight until we're ready to strike. Copy that. Keep to the shadows until you're absolutely set. We'll only get one shot at this. In the shadows. Yeah. I, that's different. Most missions start with a squad in concealment. Use concealment to set up ambushes. If any of your soldiers are spotted, all soldiers lose the benefit of concealment. Okay. Stay in low. get too close. They'll be spotted for sure and we'll lose our advantage. I guess that's the spotting zone? Yeah, I'll just keep fucking shooting them from there. They may have the numbers, but we've got surprise on our side. Hopefully that's enough. Should be. How did you understand him? Out of the woods yet. We need to take out those remaining soldiers. I've got the trap on them. Permission to engage. Do it. Do it. Whatever. I don't see why you don't have a grenade. That would have been a lot better for a first start. Blow up all their asses. Crasher one is on the board. No, halt. Don't shoot. The entire squad loses concealment when any soldier attacks an enemy, breaking windows or kicking down kicking open doors. A soldier is flanked or stepped on a detection tile. They can see you now. How about no you shit. shoot first and celebrate later? No problem. I'm I'm gonna shoot. What? Why would I move there? I have a perfect opportunity to take out this jackass from right here. Can can I do something other than something that's fucking stupid? God, these tutorials are fucking mundane. The bravery, but you're dangerously close no to shit. The Be you're the one that made me do it, asshole. Can I fire on someone that is not you? No, I have to literally fire on this guy. Someone's gonna flank my ass, I guarantee it. You're still keeping score, right? Guarantee you it's this guy. Yep. He flanked my ass. It was that easy. Fucking retarded. Oh well. The tutorial. I guess I can't say too much. No shit. You can't take risks like that. Watch your flanks. So that's how you want to play it. What? Okay. I didn't do it. You made me do it, game. Don't fucking penalize me for doing the shit you wanted me to do. I knew better than that, but you made me do it. I know teaching me shit and stuff, but goddamn, I played this game before. Not not this game, but XCOM. S same same basic rules. Bam. Oh 
Oh yeah. She's calling reinforcements. Stop that. Ooh, damn. Transmission. <laughs> I think he's got it covered. Central reporting in. Mm. Mm. You are late. That's who it is. Taking in the it's the guy from the first game. It's uh, the commander is second in command, I guess you'd call him. At least they used to be. He looks kind of different. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to, but we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's going to change. Let's move. What you looking for? Looks like that transmission went through. You have an advent transport closing on your position. You heard her. Cover the left side. I'm on it. Keep your eyes peeled. Fire on anything that moves. Overwatch, I get it. Is clear. We need to move on the package. I, I get it. Pointing arrow. Menace three, you're up. Hold up. You should check that body for salvageable gear. We need anything we can get at this point. Better move fast, though. I've heard rumors Advent rigs their stuff to self-destruct. Got it. Whoa. What the fuck did you do to that body? Damn. Their shit's a lot nicer. No shit. I saw them. Now I know we're in the right place. I'm confused as to why he shot him first. Why? The the dude in red seems a little bit more dangerous. Just saying. Why don't you just fucking kill the red guy right now? You got 58% chance, 3 to 5 and 0%. God damn it, I guess it wouldn't do anything good, would it? Um. Oh. Goody! Fire the guy who's hiding behind the car that you can't even fucking see. I know video games. Don't I'm fuck with me. What are you doing? What the... What the fuck? You should be able to cut right through the door's security protocols. They were never expecting anyone to get this close. What's this? Hack? All soldiers can hack certain computers, lock doors, and some other objects to gain access to temporary bonuses. Huh. That's cool. What just happened? Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna question it. Good. Let's go. Moving to secure the package. I want that gun now. is the place. Are you sure? Yes. Looks like there's an access panel attached. If you got me a better look, I might be able to... Next time. Yes, let's. I 
I can retrieve a fallen comrade. The entire advent security grid just lit up. Man, that looks Fire stupid. Is holding nearby for evac, but it's now or never, Central. Understood. We're on the move. Of course he died. Why would he not die? No! Central! Crasher 1 is down! You have to get out of there! The fuck y'all care? You're the ones making me do stupid now. shit. Got it covered. Throw a grenade! I... I'll get it. I get the grin. There we go. Fire in the hole. Works for me. Why? Why would I move there? Why would I not move here, or here, or anywhere out of sight besides this big gaping hole, and then straight from that doorway, which someone could shoot me from? Why? To show that I can get shot at from different angles? I'm confused. Watch, I'm gonna get shot. This is stupid. Right behind us. Way too close. Oh, how did that? Whatever, it's a tutorial. I don't care. Nothing nothing matters in this. This is just a tutorial. I need to calm down. We need an immediate evac. Get us out of here. Yeah, no shit. Keep moving. You don't need to tell me twice. I probably do, cause. This is a tutorial and you're all stupid. We're coming home. Woo, that was a doozy. I'm sorry, my XCOM X instincts tell me to do the exact opposite of all the shit that they were making me do. Cool little plane. A little bit different than the one that we had in the first game. Carefully, there's potentially decades of atrophy to contend with. Wish we had more time. I don't disagree. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Then let's get on with it. like 20 years ago oh no way <sighs> it's me that's so cool what was coming Response maybe not so not cool and the fact that I got kidnapped and got up oh god I got a probe stuck in me To oh god, you're so weird. Preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe. No plan B here, people. Do it. Making people nut up or shut up since game one.
Response normal. Vital stabilizing. Procedure complete. Told them it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. Cool. His voice is pretty awesome, though. Glad to see you're finally coming out of it. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still. Can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Ugh. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but... Uh... A lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. Coolio. It's damn good to have you back, Commander. Fuck yeah! I'm the commander! There's my room. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. Yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the alien's technology. Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Sounds good. On your order, Commander. I will begin researching the Advent chip for possible insights as to its function. Having successfully conducted a traumatic procedure requiring required to remove the chip implanted by Advent, we now have the opportunity to study the inner workings of the device and gain a better understanding of their motivations. Research. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Okay, black man. Keep Tigan busy for a while. In the meantime, you might want to head down to the armory. This looks funky. Commander. Commander, Jane Kelly was instrumental in the op to get you back. She earned enough experience for a promotion. We should take care of that now. Got it. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. Got it. Got it! <clears throat> Slash. Attack an enemy with movement. Within movement range uh, with your sword. Okay. So we got We're swords now. Good start. Our troops will only get stronger as they gain experience. Commander, to the bridge. Going to the bridge. I heard you, Shen. When we get the thing, you'll be the first to know. Oh God. Commander, give me a second. Execute Echelon Protocol. Attention. Senior Command Exchange confirmed. I had wanted that to be a little more ceremonious, but we've got something. 
A local <laughs> resistance cell just located this hybrid magnetic power converter that Shen's been pushing us to find. They tracked the device to a nearby advent convoy and are attempting to take it down. Fuck those guys. If we can bring this converter back in one piece, we might actually get this place up and running and give the aliens a real war for a change. The squad is prepped and ready to launch on your order, Commander. Just give the word. Cool. I give the word. <clears throat> Alrighty, guys. Uh, that'll do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the first uh, gameplay footage of Exxon 2 that I have released. I uh, hope to see you guys in the next video, and I will see you around!